<laughs> whoa, whoa, who that? Who that? Oh my god, it's your girl Nisi. Hello, how are you? So the other day I went to my sister's house and I don't see her that much anymore, but when I do see her, I have makeup on. But I went round the other day for a little impromptu visit and I look like this. And my sister just looked at me and then went on my Instagram and said, how do you do that? And it was like a light bulb moment. A little light bulb went off in my head and I thought to myself, how do I do that? I mean, it's no secret that I do not wake up looking the way I do. I sound conceited, I ain't conceited. Um, not bigging myself up, not saying I look perfectly amazingly perfect with makeup on, but all beauty is beauty, but I look a different type of beauty when I don't look like this. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm trying not to offend people. Glasses are cute too, but this ain't, this ain't working for me. So, I'm gonna show you how I go from this, like, just woken up, no makeup, glasses, look to my full-on instagram i call it instagram because it looks better on instagram right so the first thing that i do i put my contacts on this is my big big bag of eyes and shout out to the girls who are as blind as me um i've got in my right eye a minus 5.50 prescription and then in my left eye i've got a minus five Woke up one day and could not see. I remember the first time I got glasses, I was like, oh my god, who knew that trees had that many leaves? Um, look away now if you don't like eyeball shindigs. Ugh. I have to try super hard not to rip my contacts with these nails. Ugh. Sometimes I put the wrong prescription in the wrong eye and then everything's... <laughs> Everything ain't right. They're in. I always feel like when I put in my contact lenses that I just look so much more like the Nisi that I know. Also, unless my camera hath deceived me, my skin looks really good on camera. <laughs> it's a lie. Don't be deceived. It's a load of shit. That's what I do with my contact lens solution. I dip it on my carpet. By the way, if you can hear any noise outside, it's because there's noise outside and I would shut my window but it's too goddamn diddly hard for that. Right, before I got on camera, I washed my face with a Clinique soap and I moisturised my face with a Clinique moisturiser and I moisturised my under eyes with a Benefit eye cream. So now, on to primer. So this is my all time favourite primer. I go and use different ones, I always come back to this. It's Maybelline Baby Skin and I don't know why I've got loads of empty ones in my drawer. Just lazy. I like this because it's silicone. By the way, if I look over here, it's because my mirror's there. It's silicone and it fills in my pores and makes my skin. <sighs> Sorry, there's a big spider up there. Um, it makes my skin feel really baby soft. Why do they think that they can just come in my room and it's fine? Especially someone who's deathly scared of spiders. It just ain't okay. You know what, I actually get so excited to do my makeup every day, especially for nights out. I'm going out tonight because it's bank holiday weekend. Today's Sunday, I'm going out, out um, with my friendios and I'm gonna get hella, hella drunk. I should be ready in about two hours. <laughs> yes! I put on what I like to call my underlayer for my concealer, which is basically color corrector. This is the, oh my God. My hands are so slippy from this primer. Where do I put it? Just put it on my arms. Just fill in my arm pores. This is the Nip and Fab Colour Corrector in the colour number three terracotta. It's basically really orange and you really cannot see on camera. But because I'm hashtag mixed race, which I keep talking about loads recently apparently, but I am. I've always been that way. I was born like it. Um, I genetically just have really dark under eyes. They don't look that bad today because I've been sleeping a lot recently because I have nothing to do. But it's something that I have. So I get a shit ton of orange and I put some under each under eye. I don't use this like normal concealer that's lighter where I put it like all over here, which you'll see in a minute. If anything, I've probably put on a bit too much, but I'm gonna proper slap on some foundation as I'm gonna be out all night, so I'll probably be all right. I don't know, 
just I normally just wing it to be honest. I actually got voted about three years ago, my first year of university, during a drinking game as the girl out of our friend group that looks most different without makeup on. And it was rude. No, it was it was okay. How did I feel about that? How did I feel about that? Um I mean, I want to say I was offended, but was I? Because my face costs a lot. Like, I, at the end of the day, I pay a lot of money for makeup to look different. That's, that's the exact cause of it. I know a lot of girls say it's like a creative outlet for them, and it is a creative outlet for me too, don't get me wrong. But also, I do it because I want my face to look different. Alright, after that, I go straight in with my foundation. I'm going to be using Bourjois Healthy Mix, my all-time favourite foundation, mixed with some MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I don't normally uh, use my MAC one, to be honest, I don't like it that much, but for a night out, I like to mix it because it's really heavy coverage and I want to look really heavy coverage. I did. Wet my beauty blender, one minute. Oh my god, look how gross that is. It's covered in powder and like I don't want to buy a new one because it's a sponge that costs a stupid amount of money. I'm back and my booty is wet but I just realised when I looked in the mirror. I just realised when I looked in the mirror in the bathroom that <laughs> my face, it was really hairy. It like, seriously. Anyone else with dark hair got the same problems as I do? So my eyebrows grow at like a million miles an hour and they also grow like all the way up my face like this. So I buy these little tiny razors from Poundland or Amazon, just wherever. And I just get rid of the hair that is literally, I'm not even joking, all here. Um, I don't mind too much because at the end of the day it's my face and I should embrace it but when I put foundation on it sticks to all the hairs and I look proper weird. It's my face I can do what I want to. It's my face I can do what I want to. That's why I always say there's no rights and wrongs in makeup. So, I mean there's things that I prefer but at the end of the day it's your fucking face. Do what you want to it. Like, does it matter? No, people take things way too seriously. Right, so I put quite a lot of that bourgeois on my hand, and now I'm gonna put just a dabble, like I really mean it because it's quite orange, um, of the MAC one, and mix it together. I'd say my number one place on my face that I like to cover up is my under eye circle. Um, I've recently come off the pill, recently being like, two months ago but um and when I first came off it my skin had a tantrum just like I expected it would because I mean obviously I was taking hormones and then suddenly I wasn't putting them in my body anymore so my skin was just like what the hell are you doing man like what the hell and just graced me with millions of little spot friends um but, but they've all gone down now so that's good <laughs> I have a spot here and it won't go away it's been there for like a month and I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten pretty attached to it now. I can't really imagine my face without it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, that'll do, donkey, that'll do. Also, put a little bit on your neck. Uh, my neck is kind of stained because <laughs> I was wearing this three pound choker from Primark, which obviously is not real silver, and um, my neck's gone green and I can't really get it off, which is kind of hilarious. Um, but don't worry, I'll cover it up with another huge, massive, obnoxious choker from Topshop. Or River Island, even River Island. This is the part where I like to prep my lips to do lipstick, which I'll do later, probably right at the end. Um, this is the Soap & Glory Pillow Plump XXL Lip Plumper. To be honest, every lip plumper I've tried is kind of similar, but this one hurts like a bitch. I live for it. Like, I want my lips to hurt, man. I know it's doing something. I mostly put this... Shh, I'm talking about my lips. I'm talking about my duo lippers. Um, I put this on the top lip mostly because that's the one that I want to be bigger because I don't necessarily want huge, massive Kylie Jenner lips. I just want my lips to be even. Uh, yep, drawing attention to my perceived flaws in front of 76,000 people. That's fine. Next, right, I have a lovely, lovely concealer. Where has it gone? Here it is. It's also by Bourjois Healthy Mix. It is the anti-fatigue 
concealer in the colour number 52 medium. I have a funny relationship with this because I do like it but I don't like it as much as the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection which everyone rants and raves about for good reason. But the reason why I buy this instead is because I feel like you get so much more out of this. Like the consistency is better and I like to put this as you can see in like big triangles on my face and all the way up my cheekbone because I think it gives like a brightening-y, highlighty effect to my skin. Um, and I feel like when I buy the Collection 2000 one, I just can't do that for as long before the product runs out, which is annoying. I also put it on my forehead. I don't know what that means, but I do it. Um, a bit on my chin, a bit up there, and a bit down my little, well, not me little, me big, me nozzy. Da -da. <laughs> I tend to like, sit on my face for a bit just to let it set in so that when I blend it out it doesn't just like wipe all off my face because I need the coverage, trust me, trust me. Um, I do my eyebrows, that's a lip product, what the hell? So I just brush my eyebrows out to get all the foundation out and also to puff them up a little bit. And then I use, oh my god where is it? If I actually lose this makeup product, I'm screwed. Um, this is the Freedom Be Free To Makeup Professional Eyebrow Pomade, pomade in the colour granite, which basically means black, like my soul. Um, and I apply that with a Sigma brush, which I've had for years and years and years. Here it is. It is the... Wow, it's really rubbed off. The Sigma Small Angle E65 brush. I love it. I like my eyebrows to look proper angular, a bit like I'm a Disney villain. That's kind of my aim. Um, I haven't quite got there yet. My eyebrows can actually just grow really straight. I just kind of like to do this, like a line here, and then make it go up, and then just, just what? That's my baseline. You see the difference? You see how I've brought it in a lot closer to my nose because my nose like stops here, but my eyebrows start here, which is really attractive. Thanks, genetics. Thank you. I think there's a child pretending to be a duck outside my window. I'm kind of into it, I like that, good, good for you. Oh God, it's one of those days, I'm not sure about this. Look how big that bloody eyebrow is. I always tend to sort of make it work in the end, but they can kind of sometimes be really huge and I don't want huge massive eyebrows. I don't, I want just little sharp. Does anyone feel my struggles? It's, it's hard. God, these are the worst eyebrows I've literally done in years. Give me a minute, they're so, just, 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 wait. Are my lips going though? You see that? They're getting thick. <laughs> Try and brush out the front so it looks a little less like I've just drawn on a big rectangle. You know what, recently my eyebrows have actually been going like pretty good, like for me. And the one time I actually want to draw attention to them. They look like this. It's just my bloody look. I look like <gasps> a drag queen. <laughs> my defense, it doesn't look as black in real life as it does on camera. Right, now I'm gonna finally blend in this concealer. I like to use my beauty blender a little bit. Um, I like to use my finger because it has a bit of warmth because I'm hot. Um, just to melt the concealer into my skin because um, the beauty blender is cold because I used cold water because if I used hot water it would open up all my pores and that would look shit I hope you hit me on my celly when I creep in your mind you are princess to the public but a freak when it's time you say your bed's been feeling lonely so you sleep in and mine does anyone else have quite a big crush on Mac Miller and now I want to be Ariana Grande just so Mac Miller can look at me like that like he looks at her with such love as if she is everything in the world I actually put that on Twitter and then someone was like but everyone looks at Ariana Grande like that and I was like true she's so cute and pretty and just 
now time for eyeshadow, but I don't 100% know what I'm wearing. I want to get that kind of to match up. Before I do my eyeshadow, I like to bake my under eyes. I don't do this often. Again, I'm going out tonight, so it's a special occasion. Um, I use my Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. It's amazing. It's very yellow, so I don't think it would work on pale tones. But for olive gals like me, give it a whirl, because I love it. Um, the only thing is, I don't know how all you beauty gurus do it, but you like manage to not get it everywhere. I literally have to put some powder on something like this, as if I'm about to do it on a Coke. Just, you know, otherwise I don't, I have to tip it everywhere. Otherwise I don't get enough powder. Apply powder liberally to your under eyes. I also put some here to make it look like I've got cheekbones when I don't because I've got the facial structure of a potato. <laughs> little hack that I do, and one of the easiest way I find to do eyeshadow, I can do it without, but it really just makes the whole process so much simpler, is I get a bit of sellotape, and I put it there, so that when I put eyeshadow on, I like make a really sharp line, and when I peel it off, it hasn't like smudged all down my face. I find it a lot easier to blend my eyeshadow in when I've done this, um, as I can really, really, really blend without it going everywhere. So I do recommend, I think it's a really good move if you're just starting out with eyeshadow because I've been doing this for absolutely years, like since I was like 15 and I feel like it just taught me how to follow the shape of my eye but I still do it for convenience. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I read a tip the other day that you should not use normal sellotape and you should instead get like medical tape but I don't have time for that. So I'm just using normal sticky tape that I nicked off me dad. I don't have any eyeshadow primer because I suck. I really wish I did, but I have put foundation on my eyelids. Huh? Dirty brushes, right this. I'm gonna get a shade from Blank Canvas Cosmetics Master Palette One called Goddess. And it is basically a white shimmery shade and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. I am going to put some brown over the top of it but I do it just to make the colour pop. Colour pop, that's a brand. I don't own anything by them. Are they a good brand? Let me know. Oh, what should I do? Not that one. I've got a sleep palette I might want to use. I believe it's this one. Yes, it is. I might use a bit of that blue because I'm wearing a blue skirt or should I? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I haven't done I'm going to start with a light brown, cool tone brown, and put it at the end of my lid, up here, and into the crease. You see that? Kind of like that. Oh my god. This isn't so much a tutorial more than just a this is what I do, so if I'm not tanning you properly, then, you know, that's why. You see how bad the tape is? I can literally paint over it and it doesn't matter because it's not going to go on my skin, it's going to go on the tape. It's so great. I'm going to get a slightly darker brown, the shade is called Coco, and put that on the middle bit here. Um, I'm not going to go all the way to the lash line, it's more on my crease and bring it down, not going all the way into the inner corner but quite a fair way in, like that and don't worry if it's messy because I'm messy Nessie, you know not Nessie, it's Nisi. I can't fucking stand it when people call me Nessie then I'm gonna get a shade called a Hickory which reminds me of Hickory Dickory Duck and put that right in the depths of the end of the eye. I don't know what it's called, but like the very end, because I want the outer corners to be the darkest part of the whole look. And I'm also going to bring it down slightly under my eye here. Oh, 
actually find it so difficult to talk and do my makeup at the same time. Like when I have my friends round and we get ready for a night out, I'm literally the biggest diva ever. Any of my friends can attest to that. Like I'm with them like a lot of the time before we get ready, obviously, and we're like chilling, like going for food or something before a night out. And then we get in and I switch into a different person and I go, right, I'm getting ready now, don't talk to me. And they're like, girl what's wrong with you and I'm like nothing I just need to concentrate on my makeup and I can't talk and do things at the same time and I get proper proper funny about it what can I say but then as soon as I've finished my heels are on and my drinks in my hand I'm back to normal Nisi <laughs> it's like something takes over my body and controls me for like an hour and a half I like to look my best I like to feel pretty for me a lot of the time getting ready is the best part of the night because um, sometimes the nights out can be a bit like mediocre but if I look pretty, then everything's not so bad. I just love it. Right, I'm gonna get this pencil -y brush. This is the Sigma Pencil E30, and I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna get, um, fuck it. I'm gonna get some black. This is a risky move. Um, it's the color Noir, which is black in French. Um, it's the palette's by Sleek, and I'm just gonna put this again in the very outer edge kind of where I'm going to put my eyeliner but then a bit into the crease now I normally don't use black because you know what they say once you go black you can't go back um, it's the same with eyeshadow hair and stuff because I can't blend it out very well and like if you fucking I've accidentally drawn myself an eyeliner flick which touches my eyebrow. <laughs> okay. Just blend all that together. And hope it looks all right. <laughs> Sometimes I do my eyeshadow and it kind of looks like I've been punched in the eye. But then I put my eyeliner on and my eyelashes on and I'm just like... I'm feeling it man, I feel like Taylor Momsen. I'm gonna go back in with that goddess shade that I used earlier, the um, shiny white one and add a lot more to my inner corner like that. Underneath the brow bone. Angled powder brush and swipe the loose powder away, which also takes away all of the eyeshadow that fell. Gets rid of it, you see that? All gone. Do, 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 do. Right, now onto eyeliner. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh. Just to get a nice black line. Oh, look how bumpy that is just because my eyeliner is like empty. Please don't ruin my- oh thank god. This is the Taylor Blue by Hot Mess like to medium contour kit. Uh, how I feel about that? When I first got it I thought it really wasn't pigmented enough. But I mean I've got used to it. I probably wouldn't repurchase it. I really want the Kat Von D one. That looks amazeballs. Um, I bought this brush the other day from... It just says B. It says B contour. Um, it's from Superdrug and what I'm going to do is get shade 5 which is a cool toned bronzy brown um, because I don't like contour with warm shades I like cool shades only and I'm going to find my cheekbone I haven't really got it but I'm just going to draw a little line or a big line I'm going to put some on my forehead here to make my big head look a little bit smaller. I literally do have a massive head. It's not necessarily my actual forehead, it's just my head in general is bloody huge. I don't know why, I was born like a bobblehead. Um, put some on my jaw, because I don't have one. <laughs> and a bit down my neck, 
so that it blends in a little bit. Do, 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 do. I like to blend it upwards, not downwards. Um, just so, because I think if I blend it downwards, this whole part just looks like bronzy and it kind of loses the whole contour effect. Also put some here on the sides of your head. Slim it down a little. <laughs> and then I'm going to blend it in a little bit more with the MAC 198. Um, it's an angled contour brush. Fun fact, I actually found this on the floor of the Boring Shopping Centre in Birmingham years ago and I couldn't believe my fucking luck. I, <laughs> it was used and I sterilised it, or did I? I don't know. And now it's like one of my favourite brushes and I haven't gotten over it yet, so... Shout out to my guardian angel watching over me, helping me find MAC brushes on the floor. And now for one of my favourite bits, highlight time. So this is the Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette. It looks like this. It's beautiful. You get the purple shade, because I'm feeling a bit purple, mix with a bit of the orange one. Tap it off and put it right at the top here. <gasps> yes, queen. Yes. You see the difference? No highlight and highlight, no highlight and highlight. I just, I live for it, I fucking live for it. The time is five o'clock and my friend isn't getting here until like quarter to seven. I've got to put my bloody eyelashes on, didn't I? So, oh crap, whatever, I don't care. Um, where are my, oh my God, hold on. Oh God. I went out the other day and I um, put my eyelashes in my bag. Um, this is, oh God, it makes me feel sick. This is a beautiful fluffy bag I got for Christmas. <coughs> but now it makes me want to vomit because I went to a really gross club. Like the toilets were disgusting. And I kept putting my fluffy bag on the floor and now the bottom of the bag is like crusty. <gasps> makes me feel sick. I got bleh. I can't even rest it on my knee, but it's got my eyelashes in, so we're gonna have to go in. There they are. Oh, are these gonna be alright to put on my eyes? Oh, I hope so. Oh, they've got fluff on from the bag. I'm not exactly portraying myself in the classiest light, but I can only be myself, can't I? <laughs> Now let that dry man, let that dry. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I've got a few little tiny white bits uh, where the eyelash glue hasn't fully, fully dried. And ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm gonna just color it in with so many bloody motorbikes that ain't there. I'm just gonna color it in with eyeliner. Now to complete my Instagram makeup that I always do. I'm gonna put on my favourite lipstick. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Double Dare. I fucking love this stuff. I feel like it's the most flattering colour for me. Um, and I think it looks nice in my hair. And I love it. It's like a, I wanna say, it's kind of a nudie colour on me because it's really similar to my lip colour, just a little bit darker. So, let me put this on. <gasps> Got crisps in my mouth. <laughs> I love it. I love this colour so much. Do you like it? Can you even see this colour? I'm finally ready. I've done everything but put my choker on. This is my finished look. So I've gone from me and glasses to this. I've got to say, although I think all kinds of beauty are beautiful in their own way, the contrast is pretty shocking, let's be honest. Um, I've just got, I've got my hair half up, half down, and then I've got this bun thing, but I've got it in a big clip. I've got to go pick my friend up, and then later I'll actually put it up in a hair tie or something. And I'm wearing this, I was gonna wear my blue skirt, but I couldn't be bothered, so I've just got a little leopard print one on. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna 
shush birds please someone if you want to recreate a video like this then do it man i love watching people get ready i think it's like one of the most entertaining things ever because i love makeup and i love people so if you do then let me know give me a little shout out that would be cute thank you so much for watching i hope you have an amazing day and this will go up after bank holiday weekend so if you went out at bank holiday weekend too i hope your hangover ain't that bad thanks for watching see you soon bye